Right, let's talk coral mushrooms. These are Artemisus pyxidatus, formerly Clavicorona pyxidatus, if I remember correctly. And in June here in Minnesota, kind of our, I call it kind of like the dead zone after morels, before the chicken of the woods and the chanterelles really start popping, you're going to see these all over the place if you're in the Midwest. They're going to be growing on dead, decaying wood, and they are prolific. You can get tons of them. They're okay. But the one point that I really want to drive home about these is, we call them coral mushrooms. It's in the common name, crown-tipped coral mushrooms. See, they got kind of the little crowny looking things on the top. But coral mushrooms, when I say coral mushrooms, I'm referring typically to Romaria. And these are not Romaria. These are genus Artemises. Completely different mushroom genuses there. So there's an easy way to tell them apart. These, like I said, only grow directly from wood. So you want to make sure to trim the bark off too. Take the bark off. Now, true Romaria are going to grow terrestrially. So they're going to grow directly from the ground. Also, Romaria, for the most part, at least the ones that I like to eat, are really chunky. Like, they're going to be tight and firm. And crown tip corals here, you can see they're really, they're kind of fluffy, ropey, long, flimsy, crumbly. A lot of different words you could use to describe them. And I'm not trying to badmouth these, because these are... They're a perfectly fine mushroom to eat. They have a good flavor, but they're not as good as true Romarias. So just know my opinion on that. A couple things that you can do with these that are really good is once you break them, break the uh, any bark off, you're gonna kind of have these kind of crumbly pieces. Toss any, I like to toss any brown guys like that. You're gonna have these crumbly pieces and what you can do, take like a tablespoon of flour just enough to coat them. You could use gluten-free flour or whatever you want, and then spread it out on a baking sheet and oil them up, spray them with oil, or put some lard on it, whatever you want, and then bake them. Uh, kind of in a nice, not too, not too thick, of a, thick of a pile. Bake them at like 325 for 30 to 45 minutes, and what you're gonna get are like little mushroom croutons. The flour kind of crisps up and makes them hold their shape a little bit better, but they're gonna get really flat, but they're pretty cool like that. Another thing you can do, and probably the best thing to do with these, is just cook them in some soup. I mean, these are just crying to be in a nice clear broth or something like that. 